Ah, okay, now I see myself, everything's good. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. So today's, let's start with a little opening ceremony, if you will. And uh, feel free if you, oh good, I can see beautiful faces. Please show your face, it's just nice to connect with faces. You, oh, Dan is here and hey, George hey. is here. Hi there. Good, uh, awesome. It's really nice to connect with real life people <laughs> in this time. So let's start with a little ceremony. Yeah, ceremony uh, uh, to start our, our Chi talk. So let's start with putting the hands on the heart and massaging this area and closing the eyes and taking a deep breath through the nose and out through the mouth. And just kind of connect as you're rubbing your heart. Yes, yeah, circling is a, is a very beautiful energy that swirling the chi in the heart center. And just vi visit with yourself. Where are you coming from today? What happened this morning? How was this morning for you? Kind of stop in the midday. And the noon time is a time where in Chinese medicine, the heart is active, the energy of the heart is active. So breathe into the heart, feel your heart center, exhale from the mouth, release stress and tension, and then swirl to the other side. And it's like massaging a beautiful baby inside of your chest. And as you close your eyes, you look with eyes closed, you look into the center of the chest, the heart center, and just uh, kind of relax that swirling and keep the hands on the heart center and smile to your heart. If it's, if it's hard for you to smile to your heart, you can just visualize a beautiful being there. The heart, you know, each organ, each cell has its own consciousness, we say. So the organs have their own information. And they're almost like little people there. Yeah, so the heart is like a small village of these people that are working very hard for you. The heart beats so many times every day. Keep the blood pumping. And if we can just give it a little bit of appreciation and love, and a smile. And when you, when you look into the heart, you smile to the heart, just think about strong heart, youthful heart. When you say these vibration, as you smile to your heart, you actually immerse in the energy of self-healing. You say, rejuvenate my heart, strong heart, loving heart, big heart yeah we all want to foster big heartfulness like good heart because that makes us happy and every everybody that come in touch with us is also feels that so cult cultivating heartfulness is something that we really strive for connect with the energy of your big heart nice Nice, and let's open the hands to the side, opening the eyes. Ah, oh, beautiful. Nice, so it's, it's very nice to do these small practices that uh, really can transform the energy in just a couple of minutes. And today's topic, hi Mary. <laughs> and today's topic is gonna be about the immune system. So, and there's uh, <clears throat> our, our defense system. And in Chinese medicine, there's a lot there's a lot to it. There's a lot of uh, wisdom and a lot of teachings. And uh, I wanted to kind of like uh, share with you a little bit of this and also open to kind of Q&A. And maybe we can open to Q&A first, like talking about the immune system or just thinking about what governs our immune system. Maybe we can open it to, to Q&A first. But before we do, I just wanted to kind of uh, you know, talk about this wisdom healing ch traditional Chinese medicine and how people used to heal themselves by themselves without, you know, back there, there was no antibiotic. There was no, um, 
uh, you know, there's no Western medicine. Uh, just think about the time you took antibiotic. I mean, every time you take antibiotic is a potential for death, really. And uh, if we look at records for uh, Qigong practitioners in the past that we have records prior to Western medicine, we see that people live 80 years old, 100 years old. And to think about that they didn't have even one course of antibiotic uh, and how these practices uh, that they did back then and traditional Chinese medicine, which is a very gentle, holistic uh, form of medicine, actually strengthened their defense system. And that all these practices that they did, mind-body practices designed to boost their immune system and to uh, ward off illnesses without medication. So uh, when we look into that wisdom and into what they did, uh, it's very inspiring. And I personally met very uh, powerful individuals uh, that have this amazing ability to emit energy and they're, and they're very old, but they're very strong in their body. And so uh, these practices are, uh, are available to everybody. And it's just about how we practice it and what we do with it. So uh, I wanted to kind of share a little bit about it, but first uh, kind of open it, maybe ask a question, start to ask a question. If you like, like what do you think governs our immune system? Or if anybody has a question about immune system or have anything to say about it, let's, let's start with that. We kind of flip it instead of me saying a lot of things and then opening to question, we'll open to question again at first and then, and then start. How's that sound? <laughs> Is there any questions or contemplations that uh, you, can, uh, you can just raise your hand like this or you can click on participant and there's the option of uh, raise my hand so I can see it and uh, love to hear. Yeah, we have, uh, we have a good amount, good number of people. We have 13 people today listening. Do we want to share something here today? Anybody? No, any question about immune system? Any contemplation yep. about immune system? Edward, can you see me? Hi, Edward. I'm raising my hand. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. So uh, yeah, go ahead, Edward. What? How? How, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. How are you doing? Not so good. I, I want to really um, emphasize everything you just said is the truth about mm -hmm. healing. And my dad and I would talk so much, and it was always about the wisdoms. And there's a wisdom that I grew up with, with, there were a few of them, and one is mind over matter. And then there's Christian science and healing without medicine. And you and I have been in this conversation right before my older son was born, I came down with hepatitis from bad fish. And I healed myself in one day from 480 Billy Rubin to normal 280 in my mind, in confronting my liver and squeezing out the yellow bile from it. Mm -hmm. And the next day when the doctor came into the hospital room to take my blood, he would tell me, oh, you were still at 480, we can't let you out. The following day, he said, there's something wrong. You got normal in one day, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so everything you're saying about Qigong is the truth. And that's why I follow you for almost three years because the wisdom of the Qigong, the wisdom of you, the wisdom of my dad, has kept me very healthy. Mm, beautiful, thank you. That's that's amazing sharing and amazing healing. It's a, an amazing healing story, and it's available to us, right? It's it's. Uh, so let me uh, just talk about a little bit more. You can actually also like uh, add your uh, question in the chat box if you like. But I'll just share with you a little bit about uh, immune system. It's actually in Chinese medicine. There's a word for it. There's a. It's a type of energy. It's called Wei Qi. And uh, it means guardian energy or defense, defense energy. And this defense energy uh, is being created by the spleen meridian in the in digestive system. So the digestive system is associated with the creation and the, store, uh, the storage of this energy. And then the lungs, the function of the lung is to distribute this energy from the spleen, from the digestive system into the body and actually into the skin and beyond the surface of the skin. And you know, we know now in Western medicine that the immune cells live underneath our skin. 
Uh, and uh, there's uh, last uh, week we talked about um, we talked about sleep deprivation and 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 issues with sleep and you know why I'm putting all these subjects together there's a, there's a reason behind it you know sleep is one of the most important thing to boost your immune system you know now we know that uh, a good sleep is not a luxury actually it's very important so we know that uh, when whenever and and I'll I'll say I'll, I'll share after what, uh, how it's connected to Wei Qi in Chinese medicine, but we know from Western science now, we know that people that sleep five hour, hours a night versus people that sleep seven hours a night, these two hours, the immune markers drop not 30%, they drop 50 to 70%. So immune markers are dropping by more than half when you, when you have two hours less of sleep. So, and we find connection to cancer, we find connections to all these connections are very, uh, to diseases, to Alzheimer with sleep. So uh, sleep is so important. We talked about it last time. Uh, and, and sleep in Chinese medicine is, is connected to the kidney energy. Now the kidney is the root of the spleen, the stomach meridian and the lung. So if the kidney is not, um, if the yin aspect of the kidney, the yang aspect of the kidney is not nourished well enough, then the, the spleen, the digestive system, and the lung wouldn't be able to uh, process, create the wei qi, and distribute it. So, so we have three really organs that are the major organs for immune system. One is the kidney, which is being nourished by, mostly by sleep, almost all by sleep and by really mental rest. We say mental rest is what charges the, the kidney energy. Uh, so being too busy, yeah, thinking too much, doing too much brain activity would deplete your kidney essence. So being in your body, sleeping, doing meditation that, meditation that is within your body, in the body itself, would be very beneficial to, uh, or Qigong, which is movement, and putting the attention on the body is very important for uh, nourishing kidney chi and replenishing the yin aspect of the kidney chi, which is really important for sleep and also for immune immune system. Yeah. So, uh, so the but the most the most important organ is the lungs. Yeah, the breath and the breath remarkably does wonders in terms of uh, in terms of the immune system because the breath does multiple things. It can calm the mind can release stress and tension, right? Because the, bre the breath is really the entry into the subconscious mind because it's the only uh, activity that is happening in the body that is uh, self, uh, you know, you, you breathe, you don't have to breathe yourself. It's kind of like you don't have to digest your own food in the same way, but it's, it's the only action that we can actually control. You cannot stop your heart from beating or your hair from growing but you can change your breath, you can control the breath. So this is why in a lot of practices, this is the entry into the subconscious mind. Yeah, and, and when we talk about subconscious mind, we're talking about all the other, yeah, we're talking about emotion, we're talking about perceptions, beliefs. And so the breath is uh, able to release stress and tension from the body, release emotional agitation, calm the mind and nourish yin type of energy actually boosting uh, your immune system because the lung is is the distributing the wei qi so uh so after you do a lot of breathing practice you can actually check your chi right you can you know how we do the chi ball yeah we do the chi ball like this and some morning try it out some morning you would wake up and you think oh wow i feel the energy here but i don't feel it here and some days you would feel it here so you have that much energy more than yesterday <laughs> so where is your chi? How much chi you have? Yeah, and so when you do a lot of breathing technique, like a breathing practice, what we do for immune boosting, you'll see you'll do the chi ball and you feel, oh my gosh, I I can hold a big chi ball and I feel it's very vibrant. Yeah, so the energy, the way chi, you can actually feel it. You can feel it. Let's just push and pull towards the body, and you feel the energy. How much your own frequency is being uh, in your body and charge up and also emitted outwardly from from your organs. That's kind of like the strength of your energy. So that's kind of like a, a, a little nice technique to see to see. And you can do a breathing tactic. I know that 
a uh, few of you were in this uh, in this uh, uh, program we did, which we we did as a uh, breathing technique, the Wei Qi breathing. And uh, try to do it. Uh, for those of you who've been in this program, try to try to check your chi before and after the breathing technique and see see how much you're becoming much stronger. So uh, so then the question is being asked: What is the best way to breathe for immune system? And what what is uh, what is um, what strengthens the immune system? There's many many breathing techniques. There's a lot of people do hyperventilation or all kinds of breathing technique or one nostril, the other nostril, like a yogi, uh, there's different techniques. And we, in Taoism, we have, yeah, we know there's a certain type of breathing that is uh, boosting your immune system, yeah? So, uh, so uh, if you'd like to know it, and I know a lot of you guys on, on, on here uh, already know it, and it's been beneficial for you, right? Like, uh, yeah, and, and you also know how to, you increase your lung capacity, right? Some of you doubled it already, right? Like Beth, you, you doubled your, <laughs> Edward too. So we, we kind of, we are, we are able to check how much uh, we able to increase our lung capacity. Yeah. So, so I this- I want to say, it's more uh, than double for me. It went from 17 seconds to a minute and 40 seconds. Wow. Okay. Awesome, Beth. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> And you feel it, right? You feel it, yeah. So, so that's um, that's uh, so. What I'd like to invite you. So, if if you're interested to know more about this breathing technique, you can go to resilience.chiwadeli.com and check it out there. And there's a free video. And if you'd like to take it further, there's uh, there's a sequence to improve your lung capacity. So, if you think about, so the first important thing I would say for immune system would be working with the breath and working with the lungs. And, and when we do it, we see, hey, what is the muscles that, that keeps the, the lungs from, what, what, keeps the, what keeps us from breathing deeply? Yeah, and, and first is stress and tension, right? With stress and tension, we hold so much tension here. And these are the muscles that actually connect. And, and we, we really wanna explore the range, of, the range of motion of the body, massage the internal organ with the breath, massage the spleen where the, where the Wei Qi is being created and relax the body. Yeah, so stress. So this is why I created this, by the way, this three workshop we're going to do every month, the workshop of the three aspects that uh, connect with, with the immune system. And one is, um, is, is lung, how to breathe correctly and what impedes breathing. So uh, I did, the, I'm, I'm going to put it on my website. It's not it's not there right now, but we're going to put it soon on, on the website. It's going to be three workshops. Each one is three hours to, to really kind of uh, get, get these, uh, get these uh, things going. So one is, uh, one is uh, lung, how to improve lung capacity. And, you know, a lot of you here on this video did this practice, but you can come and revisit this workshop. This is going to be powerful and kind of revisit this technique. And then the, uh, the other one would be Qigong for healthy sleep that I've, I've done it many times. Uh, and then the third one is going to be uh, about how we transform emotions. Because really when we talk about immune system, we talk about, you know, how, how we process stress and how we, how we can eradicate the stress response, how we can work with, um, with, 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 with stress consciously and how we can eradicate the stress response from our body. So, we, so that's, that's the three workshops. One, working with emotional energy, how we see emotions as, as sensation, as chi, as energy, and then the sleep workshop, and then the lung uh, and respiratory health workshop. So these, these three workshops I'm gonna run each, one, each for a month. So it's gonna be July, uh, July uh, August, and September, three workshops on the weekend, three hour each. And we're gonna put this, uh... now, um, who, who, uh, <laughs> so I know that a lot of you guys uh, done my program. Uh, if there's uh, any question from any other, other people that are on here, please don't hesitate to write in the, in the chat box or share. Um, 
who else wants to uh, jump in and say something about immune system? I, I really want it to be more interactive so um, I can ask a question <laughs> or I can let you guys, uh, yeah, Dan, go ahead. What I'd like to share is, you know, one of the things like even this, on my bike rides, you know, you've heard about my bike rides. I know, they're legendary bike rides. They are legendary. But what I'm finding is that, you know, the, the breathing, you know, into the, uh, the Dantian, you know, I mean, it's like when I'm going up a hill, I mean, I, I, that's the breathing that I do. You know, I can't hold it because I'm on the bike, but it's like, there's a power, there's an energy. I can feel that energy just building. And I mean, it's like my heart warms up. My legs are practically vibrating because of that energy flow. It's, it's, it's really, it makes, a difference. I mean, I'm, I'm going like, oh wait, I got my personal energizer bunny inside of me. <laughs> you know, it really, it really is amazing. And and I'm, I, you know, I'm still working on building and going up hills, but it's like, I'm going up farther and farther. And yes, I'm getting stronger and stronger. But I do attribute that extra when I want that extra boost of energy, I start that breath. And it's, I mean, I, I within a you know two seconds, I've got more power. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And that's and that's the difference between learning the breath or practicing every day and really and really and then you can really just turn on the 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 turbo switch, right? That's what I do. <laughs> and I think of you every time I do it. Okay, Ellie, here we go. Boom. <laughs> this is great. This is awesome. I'm I'm so appreciative for you guys to jump on a on a on on a on a program like that that really it's it's not just the class and experience but really something that you do every day and you can see how it really shifts your energy because this is what really what it takes thank you so much for sharing dan that's <laughs> that's beautiful happy to i mean it's, it's amazing <laughs> yes uh, edward go ahead oh you're on you're muted Thank you, Dan, for what you said. And thank you, Beth, for what you said about how much longer you can hold um, your breath. Because, Ellie, I started with your sleep seminar, whatever, three years ago. And, and I consider myself a good sleeper. But after the six-week course we took, and you were like, go to sleep between 9 and 11. Don't, you know, your uh, uh, <laughs> melatonin is running high. And I fought that, but I did it you know, in respect to the course, now that the course is over, I'm doing it. And, uh, you know, I tell myself a story as I put my head on the pillow, I fall asleep right away. But when I wake up, which I always do two to three o'clock, I do the deep breathing. And I go, how can I fall asleep? I'm so conscious of breathing. And then I'm gone. And now I'm sleeping <laughs> eight and nine hours. I don't wake up till eight, nine o'clock in the morning, have to have my glasses of water thanks to you and the course we just took, you know, and, and it's amazing. And when I'm walking, I'm doing the Wei Chi breathing, holding my breath. I don't know how long I hold it. It, it could be two minutes, who knows, but expanding the lungs and listening to everything you're saying and over the courses that we've been taking, it, it's so powerful. Mm. And I'll say to you, Ellie, nothing negative has showed up in my body for three years since I've been taking your courses. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, this is, this is great. This is great. And, you know, for me, it was a dream come true to actually take a small group of people and, and really do the practice daily and, and show how a, a, an incremental change is happening when you, you know, it's, 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 it's like lifting weights, you know, you just do it every day, do it every day, and then you get stronger. And this is really what it takes. Uh, when we see these uh, superhumans or um, some people I met, it takes just a practice. It's we all the same and we just need to do the practice. So there is a question here. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Thank you. Thank you, Edward. Uh, you on muted? Yes, I muted it. You're interrupting. Hi, Anne. Oops. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes, go ahead. Me? Yeah. Oh, I had a question about uh, tiny little warts on my arm. I've never had a couple of them. I've never had them before. Mm -hmm. And my sleep has always been, uh, last three years, really bad. Mm -hmm. A lot of nightmares. That's why I, I sat down a lot in class. 
I see. So you were talking about nightmares. You're talking about sleep, or you're talking about two things. Uh, one, I had these two two little warts on my arm that I'm going to the doctor about. Probably, I don't know if you talk about things like that, mm -hmm. but I regard everything as immune system. Mm -hmm. All yeah. that. Yeah, so so uh, skin issues, yeah, are connected with lung or liver usually, yes. um, and I would uh, I would I would think that we I could probably do more like a one on one with you and see really what's going on. But with the sleep issue, um, the sleep issues, I would I would suggest you you look at the at the uh, qigong for healthy sleep. Yeah. This this workshop is a is a recorded workshop. We're gonna do another one. It's coming soon. Uh, though I think it's gonna come in July, either July or August. We're gonna do another one. But I would refer you. I'd like to refer you to two things. One is uh, the uh, Wei Chi breathing technique. It uh, just goes resilience.chividali.com, and it's on the okay. chat box right here. I would do that and I would look at the sequence. It's like a 15 minute sequence for, for healthy sleep and it's on the workshop itself. It's a recording of Thank the you. workshop, but within the workshop, there's a sequence that it's like about 15 to 20 minute long. And it really goes, goes in. Because what happened when we are going to sleep, yeah, we're, we, we cannot, it's, it's not like a light switch that we turn off. It's, it's, you can think about more than an airplane needs to land. And so two hours before, when, when the airplane needs to land, have two hours to <laughs> prepare for landing. And so this is the amount of time that you need to kind of like close things, close things in your life, do deep breathing, close things in your heart, you know, connect with, 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 uh, with uh, practice of gratitude, what was challenging today, See, uh, really close things emotionally, because sleep issues is about uh, emotional agitation and it really and w the way we everybody teaches it in the in Chinese medicine in the summer yeah if you look all the Qigong uh, Qigong people teach sleep about in the summer why because that's most time that people have sleep problem and why is that because the heart is very active it's hot and this is the organs that it's active in the summer is the heart so we, I would uh, I would look at this um, at this workshop and also people that suffer from this monkey mind yeah you're sitting and you're very much in your brain and what we need to get is from the brain to the body so doing a qigong practice before bed that is soft yeah there's a specific sequence that we do that mm -hmm. is designed to calm the body and to calm the mind so when you move the body the, the, the energy is no longer here. It's in the body. So you're actually discharging, so to speak, discharging the energy from the brain into the body, into the feet. So if you just go to sleep and you find the mind is too agitated, you can do breathing. But last uh, time that I did this cheat talk, people say, oh, I'm still, I do breathing and it still doesn't help. Then do movement. So you've really got to think about landing. <laughs> Yeah, so until you're landing, maybe you do movement first. Maybe you do journaling first, and then you, you, you sit in bed, and then it's calm more. The, the mind is more calm. You can do breathing, and from breathing, you can go to sleep. But really, see if you're too agitated, and you wake up in the middle of the sleep. Middle of the sleep is more like liver chi energy. So that's connect also with the skin. But we can, we can talk about it more one-on-one uh, oh, yeah. -on -one if you'd like to. Yes. Thank you. One of the things that I really took from the from the workshop we did is like, you know, I mean, yes, to bed by 10. But I tell you, if I can, if I can, I mean, it's like I take try to take an hour before I go to bed and just, you know, if I'm going to watch something on the computer, it'll be, you know, something fun, something light. I don't get into dramas. I don't get into, you know, news. I don't get, you know, it's like something that's very very you know that's enjoyable and easy for me um i remember like just after the workshop got done i went into a zoom meeting and the meeting went from seven o'clock till almost ten o'clock and it was really agitated and you know i mean i try, i was tired but it's almost like i was too tired when i went to bed um mm -hmm. so i mean i i find that you know i mean if i can shut down you know if, if i'm gonna watch something watch something that i really enjoy nothing that's you know, amplifies and just uh, excites me. Oh, and the other thing is too, is sugar. Oh yeah. 
That's right, yes. Yeah, so for food, uh, to improve sleep, by the way, it, um, we want to not eat, potentially not eat anything two hours before. But if you're really hungry, please do eat because then you would wake up hungry in the middle. Of, so if you have to eat something, take something small to eat, uh, it should be fat, fat and protein. So it should be like avocado or, or nuts. Uh, almonds are very good, uh, by the way. So, so fat uh, is nourishing in energy. So, um, so sugar is the opposite. So if you eat something sweet before bed, it would agitate and is not good for the liver. So you want to eat fat and that's very good for the kidney yin energy. So that's the instruction, like eat an avocado with, a, with an egg if you want to get some protein. But uh, yeah, refrain from sugar. But uh, in general, you don't, you don't want to like process a big meal before, before bed because you want to reserve the energy of the body to heal the body, it, to heal itself at night. You know, one thing that the Buddha said is that uh, skip the last meal altogether and live longer. Uh, so, you know, and, and, and uh, yeah, we know that. So he's talking, the Buddha talked about longevity and uh, calming the mind by just skipping the last meal. I don't, you know, don't skip the last meal, but just eat a small meal and, and don't eat a lot of sugar. Uh, that's, that's what I would say. Thank you, Dan. And, and also, yeah, don't, exactly. Don't engage in something too invigorating. You know, I've heard a lecture from uh, one of the sleep experts uh, from Western Science, and he said that looking at the screen, either the phone or the computer, is like taking a shot of caffeine because they checked the brain activity right after you look at the phone at night and it's very it's 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 almost like caffeine and it lasts for some time so yeah that would be that would be a, a good sleep hygiene too uh and 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 in in ter the wart the wart things the the other problem you have with feet we can talk about if you want to uh do a one-on-one -on -one. otherwise uh i would say do the resilience one improve your breath improve your sleep uh massage self-massage in the area that you have the problem emitting some health and healing to this area self-love to the area because what happened usually is that we disengage from the area that we have trouble with yeah people say i have a bad knee or i have a bad this and they already by saying that there's like <laughs> they disengage from it actually it's it's, it's worse so the, the where we need help needs the love the most need the love the most and and touch is very powerful and love and touch and energy is very powerful so um beautiful thank you guys and um yeah i'll send a, a invitation for the it's going to be on my workshop page all these three workshops that that i'm gonna do <laughs> and and i'd love for you to join uh i think we're a little over half an hour so if anybody wants to kind of share one more thing, uh, we can have it. Otherwise, let's do a kind of a, a closing ceremony. <laughs> yes, any more things? Okay, let's wrap up. So let's bring the hands together and not touch, just like this, just like this and feel the chi between the palms and push and pull and feel the fingertips and the energy of your heart. Yeah, feel the space in between the yin and the yang. So when we not touching, we actually connect with much more energy that way. Yeah, there's the space in between And the spaces between, this kind of symbolizes the negative and positive, yeah? The form and formless. We have the form, the energy of the, the heart itself and the arms, and we have the formless is what we feel in the heart is, and they both energy, yeah? So we want to put attention to the form and the formless.
And let's finally touch the hands together and bring them together and close that circuit. The heart meridian runs from the heart into the palms and close that circuit and feel the connection connection uh, to yourself, connection to this community, connection to our practice, and put the knuckles of the thumb to touch the sternum. And this is, uh, this is uh, what you're touching is the sea of tranquility point. It's actually an acupressure point. And this one is very good for sleep. Just to breathe into the point that you're touching with the knuckles of your thumbs. Nice. Beautiful. So beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, it feels very calm. So we can shift our energy within minutes, right? <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. And I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.